Oh my god. Look at this. I'm gonna put the flashlight on the other side. Let's add these in here. Red, blue, purple, green, corals everywhere. What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. You guys have been wanting to see more of the 4,000 gallon pond, so here I am. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this off with a huge feeding. I defrosted a bunch of tilapia, and these big boys are hungry today. Now these pieces of tilapia are not small, they're about hand size, and we have one, two, three, four, five of them right here. And trust me guys, they go through these like nothing, and they're still hungry. We got the platinum red tail, we got big peacock bass, we've got tarpon, and we've got a lot more inside here, but take a look at this peacock right here. This guy, uh, I think you can say that he is probably hungry, so see. Ya. Boom, oh, you missed it, and there he goes. He got it that time. We got another piece, we're just gonna go, oh, there's a bunch of peacocks in here, and they are always first to the food. Oh, look at this tarpon right here. You guys see that tarpon? I'm gonna hand feed him. There you go, tarpon, oh, I get scared every single time. That tarpon is crazy, but look who's joined the party. Jeremy, he gets pretty much a whole entire filet. Oh, where do you want the cat, big platinum red tail? Boom, got it. Head over here, grab another big filet. Here's the big red tail. Drop that in there, gone like nothing. Blue, please leave me alone. This is uh, fish food, not dog food, okay? Thank you. And the catfish are already back for more. Look at this, come here, platinum. Oh my God. We just about lost our finger to the tarpon right there. We're down to two fillets with a lot more fish to feed. There's the peacock bass. Here's the red tail. Come on, buddy, go get it. Oh, those peacocks are just so dang quick. All right, let's see. Let's see who wants to be hand fed. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. Who wants that? Who wants that? Woo, we got it. All right, Tori, take this piece right here. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you can just put it barely in the water. Just barely right there. I don't want you to lose your finger. Yep, you can drop it to him or you can. Hey, oh, you missed it. Who's gonna get it now? Woo, the peacocks, guys, they fill their face. Here, give it to this. You got one whole piece. Oh, look at the catfish right here. You need it half in the water. There you go. Oh, he got it. I don't even know. Oh, that's, he's running off with it. I don't know. Oh, no, it wasn't the tarpon. Oh, he's like, oh, no. why didn't you give it to me? It was the peacock. So the big pond is fed a whole entire bag of tilapia. This bag right here is $15. That kind of gives you an idea of how much this pond costs to feed on a weekly basis. We do that about three to four times a week. Now I just got back to the store with a bunch of new tropical fish that we're gonna add to a new aquarium. So get ready for it, let's head inside. Before we get into some really, really awesome new fish that I got from the store, I wanna show you guys the gagonia. It's a gagonia, gonzolia, I don't know what it might be, but it looks really awesome right now. Take a look at it. Before, when I first put it in, it was just some red sticks. And now you guys can see the little star polyps that are coming out as it's filtering. I told you once it acclimated to the tank that the star polyps will come out and look at that thing. Oh baby, does it look good. This tank is seriously still one of my favorites. And guess what? In that bag, sitting on my bed over there, I have something. Woo, it's gonna be really nice for this tank as well. Before we get into that, I gotta give you guys an update on the shark gig because you guys have been asking for it. Now behind the camera is not Fish Guy Kyle today. It is my beautiful girlfriend, Tori. She's back in town from Ohio and that's why I missed my upload. I uploaded on Saturday instead of Friday because I was in Ohio. I brought the wrong SD card, but it was just a huge kerfuffle, but Tori graduated from nursing school and I'm very proud of her, but I'm gonna give you guys an update on the shark gig. Let's do this. So here is the shark egg. As you guys can see, it's still sitting inside of its container. And if you look at the tank itself, I've gotten rid of every single solitary fish in here. I said, you know what? It's just not what I wanted. I kind of jumped to a conclusion as to what I thought I wanted, but I was like, I already have a bunch of saltwater predator fish and I just, I want something else. But we still have our awesome shark egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an update with this flashlight right here. You guys are gonna be amazed. All right, so I'm gonna take it out of its tray right here. Now you wanna be careful not get it to touch the air, but okay, now take a look at this. I'm gonna put the flashlight on the other side now look at that, can you see it? Look at that, you guys. So you can see that big, huge ball. That is the nutrition. And then the tail is right there on the top and it funnels down to the bottom. As you guys can see, the nutrition is shrinking. That's the yolk sac and our shark is getting bigger. Look at that, that's the tail right there, Tori. How cool is that right there? That is a baby shark inside of the egg. This thing is doing so good and I cannot wait to see it hatch. Now comment down below, how long do you think until our shark egg hatches? I'm guessing, you know, probably about five weeks. But honestly, you guys, I really have no clue. All I know is that the yolk sac is shrinking and that's a good sign for a healthy shark. Now you guys, 
let's get into this unboxing. All right, so we have another big bag full of fish. And now if you haven't been watching, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown. All of my saltwater predator fish are in my 55 gallon tank right here are heading downstairs into the 125, which is gonna leave us with an empty 55 gallon tank. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna stock that 29 gallon in the corner with a bunch of reef fish. And then once everything is moved, those fish are gonna move to there. We're gonna add coral. We're gonna add a bunch of super cool stuff. And then the 29 gallon will be empty and ready for something else. It's all gonna make sense once we get going. Now let's go ahead and jump into the first fish. Okay, now I should rephrase that. Not every single fish is going in there. Some of them are going in the seahorse tank. This is our first fish right here and it is a cleaner wrasse. And I'm gonna put him inside of this white bin right here so we can get a better look. So this is our first fish right here, a little tiny cleaner wrasse. Now these guys are awesome to have in your tank because they eat the parasites. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy into the seahorse tank. We need something like this in that tank just so we keep all those parasites out of there. Here we go, I got the little guy in my hand. He's so damn cool. These guys are so good to have in your tank as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him into the aquarium. There he goes. All right, there you go. Little mm. tiny cleaner wrasse. How good does he look in there? He spices up the tank a lot. He adds some blue to it. So now we got red, we got orange, we got white, and now we got blue, baby. This tank is looking so dang good. And it's only gonna get better. Let's head back to the bag and keep it going. Up next, we have some peppermint shrimp, ladies and gents. These guys are great, because guess what? They clean up the leftover pellets that the fish don't eat. Let's get them in the barrel. All right, let's add these in here. There's one, and there is two. Look at these two little guys. Now this is two shrimp. They're nothing crazy, but they're super important to have, because guys, leftover food inside of your tank that sits on the bottom, that's gonna make your water go bad a heck of a lot quicker. So these guys will eat the leftover mice's shrimp, they'll eat the leftover pellets, and look, they're already feeding whatever's in the bottom of the barrel. These guys are super cool and I can't wait to get them inside the tank. Here they go, in they go, boom! Two perfect little peppermint shrimp added to the aquarium. Look, one went right on the little, right on the little tree. As you guys can see, now that they're on it, those little stars are gonna kinda go back in, but look at this guy up here. He's kinda just dancing around. Awesome, you guys. This is looking so dang good. I really thought I'd never be one for like the community fish, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really getting into it, and I'm getting into it so much that I think I'm gonna do a coral tank, 55 gallon with a bunch of tropical fish. It's gonna be amazing. This right here is a lime green wrasse. Now, this is definitely one that's gonna be going into the 55 gallon tank once we get those guys out of there, but for the time being, He's going inside the 29 gallon. All right, let's get this little guy into the bin here. Come on, little booger. There he is. Guys, look at that fish right there. When I saw this guy at the store, I literally was like, I need him. He's so bright yellow. I gotta get the flash on him. Look at that thing. I don't know why they call it a lime green because it's really just a electric yellow and he's a beautiful fish, completely reef safe but I literally had to get him this is one fish that's gonna go in the 55 gallon tank I kind of want to show you guys what he looks like on his side because he's got a little bit of pink he's got a little bit of pink a little bit of green I mean that fish is beautiful some orange so let's go ahead and get him into the 29 gallon and hopefully within the next couple of weeks we're gonna have these guys downstairs and we're gonna go ahead and start our coral project inside here really all we're waiting for is to get rid of those freshwater fish which I talked to the store today and it's happening soon so Get this guy in the tank. Come on, little guy. Welcome to your temporary home. That thing is freaking stunning. Let me get the tank light back on here so we can brighten him up. Guys, imagine that fish in the 55-gallon tank with red, blue, purple, green corals everywhere and a bunch of other bright fish darting around. These fish are stunning. They're super fast and they're always swimming. That is going to be one that you don't want to miss going to the 55-gallon tank. So, Turn on that notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss it. That thing is beautiful. Name this fish down below right now. Name him down below. Now you guys asked for it, you guys mentioned it, and you guys wanted to see it. And that is another seahorse for our seahorse aquarium, you guys. We got another one because you guys said they do better in pairs and I could not agree more. This guy right here is a little smaller than the last one that we just bought, but he's going to have a new best friend. I'm going to get him inside there. Who knows? Maybe they will breed. Maybe they will not. I got to do a little more research on that before we actually try and get this to happen, but... I'm not gonna put him inside the bin. I wanna get him straight into the tank, so let's do it. In goes our new baby seahorse. There he goes. 
As you guys can see, he's much smaller than our last one, but they have not seen each other. So we got this guy right here, and then we have Pegasus right here. As you guys can see, he's definitely bigger, but I want to see if they do see each other, they should lock tails and kind of just swim around the tank. All right, here we go. I think they're about to meet for the first time and they don't seem to care about one another. These guys are gonna be so cool to feed that they are eating mysis really well right now. This tank looks so good. I love seeing all the stars out on this right here. It looks so good. We got the two peppermint shrimp right here. We got the cleaner wrasse right there. We got our two clownfish and our two seahorses. This tank looks great and I think guys, it's officially completely filled. Everything's in harmony and it looks so good. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's video. I have the shout outs of the day before we go. From the YouTube, shout out to Lunar the Gamer Wolf. From the Instagram, shout out to Fresh Dreams underscore 305. And from the Fish Guy Shop, shout out to order number 2342. Connor. Don't forget everybody, every single item sold on the Fish Guy Shop removes trash from the ocean. I'm rocking the Let's Get Tank shirt. This is one of my favorites. We got some new stuff dropping soon that you're not going to want to miss. I love you all so much. I'll catch you all in that next video. Stay tuned for the retank, and I love you guys so much. I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out.